Welcome to part 16 of the Metal Gear Solid playthrough. We have defeated Vulcan Raven. Out of the main bosses we fought, uh, we pretty much have fought all of them now. Yeah. Because all, all that's really left is the... Well, see if Liquid's still alive. But there's also the Metal Gear that we have to deal with now. I will be watching you. Understand? Snake, take this security card. It will open that door. Why? You are a snake which was not created by nature. You and the boss. You are from another world. A world that I do not wish to know. Go and do battle with him. I will be watching from above. First, it is your destiny. <laughs> he is your father. <laughs> what is it? Oh yeah, we also get our answer to the DARPA chief and what his deal was with not the Darpa chief. It was Decoy Octopus, a member of Foxhound. He was a master yep. of disguise. So that's the big plot twist. Because remember the body of the Darpa chief was in the holding cell with us during the torture so sequence. And he looks yeah, like he says yeah, drained of blood. His his body looked like it had been decaying and stuff like that in the cell. Like he had been dead for longer than uh, an hour or two from when we saw the Darby Chief die in the cell. It's because the Darby Chief that died in our cell from the heart attack was not the Darby Chief. It was Decoy Octopus. So that's actually the one member of Foxhound we don't actually have a boss fight with. We're gonna be killed him. <laughs> Uh, more or less, um, he you know, heart attacks are weird. <laughs> okay. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. So apparently, when Ocelot was torturing uh, the DARPA chief um, to get the detonation code for Metal Gear out of him, he had accidentally killed him during the during the process. So they figured. They took. They would take a chance, and maybe Snake would know about the other detonation code, which is why they had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the Darpa Chief in that holding cell. Gotcha. Exactly. Unfortunately, Snake did not know that there were codes to actually, you know, activate the Metal Gear. So it, it turned out that ploy was, um, and no nothing happened with it. It was a moot point. Me. Unfortunately, it's for them. Unfortunately for them, but they, but now they have both detonation codes already. Way, yes. yeah, yeah, they already have the detonation codes anyway because of um, President Baker. So what is this about? So, well, okay, it's only a matter of time, I guess. We just need to stop them. Yeah, go on, Master. Well, basically. Oh yeah, and also disc two. Like we kind of saw a hint of this um, earlier, but in disc two, this is where uh, Master Miller um, starts to uh, become more important to the plot. He's very suspicious of Naomi, our, our nurse. But she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So then, who is she really? She must be some kind of... spy. A spy? Yes. Maybe she's been sent to sabotage this operation. Are you saying she's with the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either, but she is working for Foxhound. So you think she had a part in the uprising? Or she could be working with some different group altogether. Different group? It couldn't be. Place her under arrest. What? She's betrayed us. She needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with. If she's one of their spies, then we're in big trouble. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> race car! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Does this 
Don't you just love it when you're at a you're at the drive through you're trying to order food, then the loudest motorcycle in the world comes rapping right next to your street <laughs> as you're ordering? Oh man. That's always funny. That'll always be funny. You're hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get it out of her. Hurry then. We've got to figure out who she is and what she's doing here. I understand. Snake, give me some time. I don't have any time left for you. So yeah, that's uh, kind of another plot twist there. Is Naomi really benefiting us? According to the Colonel, she's vital to the mission's importance. So, oh, damn it. <laughs> Good job. Bottomless pits are bottomless pits. <laughs> um... But yeah, is is Naomi really a spy? Is she on the inside? Because Fo because remember, Foxhound is basically just good. <laughs> good job, Sentry Turrets. Good job. <laughs> good job. Okay, that's funny. Because <laughs> uh, Foxhound is just. Um, you know, the, yeah, the, the super soldier program of the CIA. It doesn't necessarily mean every single one of the members participated in the Liquid Snake Uprising. So, we'll see. Do you, do you think Naomi's really a spy? Or what? Because she, she could be working with the terrorists after all. Oh, and here we are. This is it. This is the room that all, we've all been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you... Oh, something that <laughs> pulled that huge ego. <laughs> Say it. Huh? Here it is. I present to you Metal Gear Rex. Metal Gear Snake. Oh. <laughs> Metal Gear Gashes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is it. The, we finally see it. So... Metal Gear Rex is real. What do we do with it now? I guess the only way I'll find out is to climb it. Oh. Launch the nuclear war. Come on, Otacon. <laughs> What's wrong? Did you find a good place to hide? The Metal Gear can't exactly launch the nuke in its current state right now. It needs to be outside. <laughs> uh. Right in front of Metal Gear, but it's strange. What is? There's nobody here. No Outside, cars. same thing. Just fire it, Patterson. It's just quiet. <laughs> <laughs> potato, potato. Just fire it, Patterson. He said they even input the PAL codes. What should I do? All we can do is use the override system that President Baker told you about. But I've only got one of the three keys. And besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well... I'm in the computer room right now. I'm trying to He found the computer room, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Don't you need a password? Of course. But find the computer room. <laughs> yep. That describes me pretty well. Does it look like you can get in? I don't know yet. I'll give it a try. I'm counting on you. So yeah, we have to climb Metal Gear, and it's funny because the sections of Metal Gear are always split up into loading times. <laughs> so we were at the bottom, now we're at the midway point. We're at its knees, <laughs> basically. And then the loading screen up to... Oh yeah, uh, on the first visit here, you always get interrupted by Otacon Codec conversations. So you're, <laughs> so you're like, oh great, let's finally climb the thing. Oh, cutscene, damn it. Do you think you'll break in soon? I never met a system I couldn't bust in. This is what I mean, but like, if, if you want to try getting into Metal Gear, you're going to have to sit through a lot of cutscenes and a lot of dialogue. And it's very, more, more or less intrusive during the gameplay segments. Kind of like this, because <laughs> like you want to get a move on with the game, but then like Otacon has to tell you the important information that you need to know. But here, we're at the top level, finally. Collect all the neats and goodies over here. You gotta stop, though. 
Gotta stop the Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. <laughs> Oh, Kodak. <laughs> there we go. Snake, I did it. You got past security? Bingo. Great. So what do you got? I accessed the console. So we there the override so system that um Baker President about. Baker gave us is basically it. just uh, a PAL card key. I'm I not sure what P PAL stands for. It's not the PAL region of the new world, but it's something else. <laughs> um, but there's supposed to be three of them. We only have the one. So that's what Otacon is basically going to tell us um, sooner or later, because there's a trick to actually using that key. Yes, but effective. And that's not even the scariest thing about this weapon. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. It's a stealth weapon. You mean it won't show up on radar? Yeah. The truth is, they've been working on a stealth missile since the late 70s. Why weren't they able to develop one until now? Because of the missile rocket propulsion system, it would be picked up by enemy satellites. Oh yeah, that makes sense. But unlike a missile, the railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. An invisible nuclear war. See, that's what I was explaining earlier, because they're going to use the railgun of Metal Gear to launch the nuclear warhead. Because, like, the, you know, the, the jet engine fuel from the missile itself uh, would be detected in illegal airspace by all the countries of the world. So, by using uh, something, you know, um, electromagnetic uh, force to push the, a nuclear warhead onto, no one would be able to detect it. No one would know it would happen. And then the warhead would just magically be in someone's backyard and explode. Yeah. So that's how they would get away with that. Would be denounced by the UN. It could even bring the president down. Did you know this, Colonel? I'm sorry. You changed, Colonel. I won't make any excuses. Snake, listen to me. Oh yeah, and and you know, essentially, <laughs> when the world did find does find out uh, theoretically that the missile came from uh, United States territory. Um, of course, it's gonna like look bad, reflect bad for the president. So, oops. Foxhound is basically trying to kill a lot of birds with a lot of stones, <laughs> essentially. Data as important as that would be carefully recorded. It was. President Baker gave me an optical disc with all of the test data. What? Do you still have it? No. Ocelot took it from me. The terrorists have replaced the dummy warhead with a real warhead. Once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. So you think they can do it? Well, the dummy warhead was designed to be identical to the real thing, so I think so. Did you find out how to override it yet? Not yet. It must be in a separate file. Right now I'm looking through all of Baker's personal files. We're counting on you. Ah, uh, finally. No more codec. Oh yeah, from this vantage point here, uh, you can see uh, Liquid and Ocelot right there in the <laughs> the control room. Uh, I think I try shooting a Stinger missile at them. Nothing happens. <laughs> like, like not not even the alarm goes off. <laughs> Somebody shot a missile at us. Uh, who cares? Yeah, who cares? Yeah. Who cares? I, I think the old. I think the only enemy guarding this top floor is this one uh, guard right here, and I always kill him with the sniper rifle because um, one that of the one asshole that pisses off us a lot, so he just gets put out there <laughs> to die. <laughs> Oslo or Liquid, one of the two. Uh, well, they essentially have the same role because again, Ocelot is essentially Liquid's exactly. right hand man. One of the one of the two did said you go out there. Oh. So. Mm. Okay, I see what you're getting at. Did you find it? No, I haven't found out about the override system yet, but I found Baker's ulterior motive. He's just looking to get rich, isn't he? Well, that's part of it. Armstech is in much worse financial trouble than I thought. I know they lost their bid to make the next generation fighter jet. That plus the reduction in SDI spending. It looks like there was even some talk of a hostile takeover. Everything was riding on this project, I guess. And it looks like we were paying a lot of bribe money to the DARPA chief. Bribe money, huh? Yeah. And Baker was a big proponent of the nuclear deterrent theory. I see. So anyway, what about the override? 
Just give me a little bit longer. Right, any more cutscenes? No? Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, I mean, that kind of gives us the answer as to why um, yeah, Baker was essentially putting all his faith into the Metal Gear project to begin with. Oh yeah, there you go, Stinger Missile. Nothing happened. <laughs> uh, Nothing happened. It's like we appear. We appear to be taking fire, sir. <laughs> it's like I'm not even here. All right. So you know the you know the convenient trope of like when the good guy is like sneaking around the corner or like nearby the main villains. That's exactly the moment when the main villains like talk about their big evil plot. No, there's been a change. The new target is Lopnor, China. Why, boss? I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Golukovich would really like to see a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? Liquid. But why? There's nothing there. Wrong. It's a nuclear test site. A nuclear test site? If we nuke a major population center, the game's over. But a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. That'll probably mean top secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the President will be forced to divulge the existence of a new and highly destabilizing nuclear weapon to the Chinese. What do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation? Or the President's? And with the CTBT, that means that China and India, I see. Yes. When the other countries hear about this new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Washington won't be very happy when we start selling their own system to the highest bidders. Yes. President will break. He will give in to our demands. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. Billion dollars. Again, billion dollars is not much in today's economy. So, no. it's very funny looking back at it. Because <laughs> back then, billion must have been like the like the biggest number you could imagine. But now we've been stagnant in like the billion dollars like worth of. Budget's not the right word. Debt, I suppose. We're in the trillions now, though. Circa 2022. Besides the point. <laughs> the weight of billion is different then than it is now. Or maybe it's just because this fox die was still experimental and they haven't worked out all the bug shit. Oh, yes. This is where the concept of fox die is uh, revealed. Uh, apparently, fox dye is a disease that apparently all the Foxhound members have. So they, one of the reasons why they want Big Boss's uh, corpse is so they can use um, use nanomachines machines uh, <laughs> um, to basically figure out a vaccine for fox dye. If Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, they need to reinforce their nuclear arsenal. They need a nuclear weapon that can't be intercepted. Metal Gear will allow them to gain first strike capability over the rest of the world. Their regular army is in shambles, and they think they can restore their country's military power with nuclear weapons? Galukovich, he's no warrior. He's a politician. Well, he's the one who gave us the hind and most of our other heavy firepower. He's got over a thousand soldiers under his command. If we join forces, we could put up quite a resistance here. Since Mantis died, the genome soldier's brainwashing has started to wear off. I'm worried about the men's morale. An alliance with the Russians would boost that as well. What are you saying? We're not going anywhere. We're going to dig in here. We could still escape. We've got the most powerful weapon ever made, and we're about to ally with Galukovich's forces. Are you going to fight the whole world? And what's wrong with that? We can launch a nuclear warhead at any target on this planet. A nuclear warhead, invisible to radar. And on top of that, this base is full of spare nuclear warheads. Once we get the DNA and the money, the world will be ours. What about your promise to Colonel Golukovich? I have no interest in the revival of Mother Russia. You're not thinking of reviving Big Boss's dream. From today, call this place Outer Heaven. 
big boss's dream. Okay. So what is Outer Heaven, you may be asking? Or not. Or <laughs> No need to worry. The Outer Heaven is Big Boss's dream, essentially, but what that really means is, is like, in the prequel trilogy, it's established that Big Boss um, is creating a... He, he essentially um, defected from the U.S. after the events of Solid 3 and established his own kind of uh, military force called Military Sans Frontier, an army without borders. It's essentially a... Pr oh, that's the end of the part. Okay, cool. Um, that it's... <laughs> just cool. end it in the Do middle of a cutscene. Just end it, in the, end it in the middle of a cutscene, basically. Okay, cool. I, I like how I did that. It's essentially... It's an <laughs> army without borders. And so the, it would become the world's greatest army without any devotion to any country or nation what have you etc it's basically um that's how he was able to recruit like a bunch of a giant mercenary squad basically basically right and that that was essentially is to give soldiers purpose in life and that's essentially why he inducted a lot of war orphans into his program and so to become like uh you know uh you know, child soldiers and even uh, soldiers like even like S Sniper Wolf, Psycho Mantis, they are all part of the child orphan, war orphan stuff. And since a lot of time has passed, they eventually grew up into the killers that they are today. And mm -hmm. so, because Big Boss is dead now, um, Foxhound is um, Outer Heaven was no more. But since Liquid Snake wants to. Re he wants to rebuild that. That's been his purpose from the entire thing. <laughs> That's why kind of like he and Ocelot were butting heads kind of then a little bit because Ocelot was doing it so he can revive glory into Mother Russia because he used to be a Soviet. <laughs> um, but uh, no. Liquid wants to rebuild Outer Heaven and especially in the 21st century that means a lot of technology has changed now. So an army without borders... Sounds perfect for a war, warmongering the entire world. We're about to, they're about to like fucking just like uh, kill the entire world just because they want their own little country. More or less, yeah. World domination is how Liquid puts it. He wants to rule the world, whereas Ocelot wanted to like, I just want Russia back. <laughs> but it's time to rule the world. And you can with when you have the uh, world's deadliest silent nuclear warhead launcher. <laughs>